Round 18 of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. Colin Turkington is on pole and it's go. Good start from Turkington, good getaway by Josh Cook and also by Stephen Jelly as the cars accelerate down towards Clairvaux for the first time. Jelly runs out of real estate, nowhere to go on the inside, so Turkington heads Cook down towards Turn 1 into Clairvaux. They're going from his next in the queue in a rather rally crossing ball, scrambles his way out of the gravel and drama for Dan Lloyd. He's in the barriers already and that car is going no further. Well, there was one of the BMWs locked up uh, into the Turn 1. There's a Napa racing car off the road there. That looked like something, didn't it? it Oh, Lloyd actually went off initially on his own and then must have had a tank slap, but there's the contact. So Sutton went up the inside of Jelly, there was the contact. First I thought it was suspension, then I thought tyre. The fact that he's had to abandon it does mean it is serious and that throws the championship upside down as he stalks down the pit lane. Sam Osborne, who is on the harder tyre, coming under attack for Team Hard Coopers on the soft words. Contact there, that was Jack Butel, I fear, into the back of Osborne, he's got it all sideways. Can he hang on oh. to it? They've missed him so far, but how they missed him, I can't tell you. Now here is the switch of the Ford, so you're looking from Jake Hill's car at Dan Camish, who commits to the inside line going up to tower. Not much resistance put up there. Side by side there. Now this is Butcher ahead of Moffat, medium versus soft. In theory, the Honda should have the advantage, but Butcher goes through, curved grass and all, but he's done it. Uh, look at what went on at the hairpin. Proper dive up the inside by George Gamble. Through he goes comes out ahead. Nice move. So this is Jake Hill, who was most definitely caught up to Dan Rowbottom. Goes deep into Sunny. Goes off again. Around he goes. Jake Hill loses it. Second spin of the day. Gets it back in the right direction. Will rejoin behind Rory Butcher. Colin Turkington to the hairpin for the last time. So, the BMW driver from pole position. Seventh, sixth, and a win. For the 66th time in his touring car career, Colin Turkington is a race winner. Check a flag for Colin Turkington, he wins race three at Croft, ahead of Tom Ingram. Third will go the way of Josh Cook, Dan Kamish is fourth, Dan Robottom is fifth.